evening very good evening how are you doing today i'm doing great thank you for asking me how about you i'm doing quite well are you a youtuber yeah i'm a youtuber i can see the i can see the silver play button behind you oh, oh yeah yeah uh, i also have a youtube channel although uh, it's very yeah small. you have seen my I, channel yeah i seen your channel okay uh, well uh, it's certainly nice to meet you thank you all right all right so and did you happen to go through the session document yeah it's uh, work, working from home or office hmm. office life all right all right would you like to talk about that yeah. or would you like to talk about something else yeah definitely i would like to uh, talk about topic but before that i just uh, wanted to ask some questions certainly means i just scrolling your cha- uh, channel before the session and okay. uh, i have just seen your videos with other tutors also so you are a learner before the joining no i was not a learner no 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 i so the video that you are talking about was i think uh, from 2020 february of 2020 or 2021 mm-hmm. probably it's been two yeah, years yeah one year ago and, i think yeah it's it's going to be two years in i think february or march mm-hmm. so um, i joined the platform almost two years back as a tutor before that i wanted to see what the platform was about and i wanted to get okay. a sort of like a first hand experience Uh, mm-hmm. interacting with a with a with another teacher or with another tutor on the platform mm-hmm. uh, to see what what kind of experiences learners were having uh, what mm-hmm. the format of uh, the classes were etc so okay. i had a mm-hmm. conversation with another tutor on the platform and i recorded that and uploaded that to youtube so um, would you like do you have any other questions for me yeah because as, as you mentioned i'm a youtuber so mm. i also uploaded there my session on clapping uh, with clapping ghost tutors and uh, also i am uh, uploaded so up, i guide people who follow me on youtube about english language or about english speaking right right uh, when you i'm guessing that you are going to upload this session recording on youtube so when you do yes. please tag me i will also leave a comment on your video then yes yes definitely okay. sure yeah yeah all right so, uh, so Yes, mm-hmm. yes. You were saying something. So, uh, lots of learners ask me about uh, self study. Okay. Means, uh, how should arrange uh, self study for uh, for English speaking? And so, what do you suggest? Okay, what you can do is, if you obviously you can come and speak to us on clapping go we are going we are here to provide you assistance we are here to guide you yeah so i was asked uh, telling you i was saying about self study self study mm-hmm. if you ha- if you can um, come on the platform then clap it, come on clapping go that's great you can talk to me or somebody else on the platform and we would certainly help you out we would certainly mm-hmm. guide you but for whatever reason if you are unable to do so um, if you do not have the time <clears throat> or any other reason is there you can in your free time whenever you are free um what you can do is first of all uh, if you think about english or any language for that matter there are four skills that you need to master to mm-hmm. become fluent to become proficient in that language reading writing listening and speaking yeah. you can read write i'm assuming that the whoever you are talk whoever is your audience can mm-hmm. read write if they are getting stuck with uh, respect to listening they can listen to more content in english that can be mm-hmm. from speak people who speak uh indians who speak english so it can be youtubers it can be uh it can be audio books they can listen to audio books right. uh, podcasts mm-hmm. and they can talk to perhaps other other learners on the platform mm-hmm. um, not on the platform i mean uh they can talk to their friends perhaps or family members anybody mm-hmm. and if that doesn't work they can also um, just speak by themselves Yeah, something right. that i suggest is if you watch a movie or if you listen to a song or mm-hmm. if you go to a new place what we typically do is we talk about our plans in our vernacular mother tongue mm-hmm. right oh right. i i am going to do that i have to meet to this person tomorrow i have to present this thing tomorrow etc we say all those mm-hmm. things in our vernacular replace that with uh, replace your uh, change that language of communication from your mm-hmm. vernacular from your mother tongue to english 
yeah. that will yeah. give you some extra english practice speaking yeah practice. i'm totally agree with your points but uh, some people ask me right uh, they are a beginner right so if they join uh, clapping go and they don't know how to conver- how to start conversation in english then what do you See, uh, okay. tell them mm-hmm. great question what if you think about all right i'll give you an example when you write an email there are mm-hmm. multiple parts uh, of an email you have the introduction you have the salutation yeah. first of all mm-hmm. then you have okay, uh, dear sir mr xyz miss xyz mrs xyz yeah. then you have the introduction body and then conclusion mm-hmm. right right similarly when you when you speak uh, okay if you want to learn about learn how to write the introduction of an email you would type how to write the introduction of an email and you will search on google or any mm-hmm. other search engine that you use right. similarly if you want to improve your spoken english you can type how how to uh, phrases to start a conversation in a meeting or phrases mm-hmm. to start a conversation at a party right. so you type the situation and you will find that mm-hmm. okay yeah and there are many guides many websites that have already uh, many you will find such guides on many several websites yeah uh, also uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, means uh, introduction videos also available on youtube yeah like whatever you have like if you mm-hmm. are stuck about stuck on a particular thing you can just google it and there are thousands of websites in 2023 that you can yeah. refer to yes right exactly. uh, but uh, i would suggest uh, if you have got multiple options if the first options are usually like going to be uh, dictionaries so if you mm-hmm. can then refer to dictionaries because they over there you are going to first of all come across good expre- uh, good words uh, mm-hmm. standard words that you can use and also they are going to be grammatically correct whatever yeah. you find on dictionaries uh, on their websites cambridge mm-hmm. dictionary oxford dictionary merriam webster uh macmillan dictionary collins dictionary all these are authority authorities and what you find over there is sound information as okay. opposed to let's say something mm-hmm. that you find on a random xyz tom dick and harry's uh blog okay so be a little so, careful about what mm-hmm. where you get your information from all right so okay thank uh, you thank you for your thoughts you're uh, most welcome and uh, english also your second language so how did you learn i uh, english is my english actually is my english is a third english is the third language that i learned hindi was a second language. language that i learned okay yes. so which And is your uh, native language bengali bengali okay yes bangla and mm-hmm. i learned english um, how uh, when i was in class until class 4 i was in a bengali medium school in class 5 my parents put me in an english medium school because they felt okay. it mm-hmm. would benefit me in the future which right. clearly did Mm-hmm. and um in the beginning i had lots of difficulties communicating with my peers my teachers but i i observed what other people were saying especially teachers mm-hmm. and i i absorbed i absorbed as much as i could right and i i initially focused on improving my listening writing and reading skills and when i was in class 9 10 from then i focused on improving my speaking skills so okay. if it's a comp- mm-hmm. if you if your audience is uh, if the person if whoever is watching this video is a complete mm-hmm. beginner i would suggest focus on improving your grammar and um, your vocabulary to an extent where you can point out mistakes that you are making if you listen to your listen to yourself right do you right. think there Because, is a difference in uh, two language means when you learn english and or you when you learn hindi so what difficulties are there are both are same see language learning process if you learn see these languages are completely different hindi is completely different from english there are certain words in english that were derived that have mm-hmm. been derived from hindi okay for example pyjama this is a word i think that pajama like pj what we call pajamas are typically what we used to wear in hindi uh, in mm-hmm. india and it, it's a hindi term i believe i'm not totally sure but i think it's a hindi term but mm-hmm. then uh, the term has been uh, incorporated uh, in, you know it's now used by people who live in the uk us and other countries also mm-hmm. um if you if you think about uh, you cannot really compare indian languages with english 
Yeah. Because they are completely like the writing mm-hmm. system is completely different, as well as uh, when you think about the alphabet, mm-hmm. English alphabet is completely different from the Hindi alphabet. Yeah, if you think and about pronunciation, in, also different. Yeah, very much different. Alphabet. Very much different. Just like, just like, uh, let's say, uh, just like, um, Gujarati is different completely from Kannada or yeah uh, Telugu. Mm-hmm. just like that english is also different from hindi um saying that languages are completely different and uh, yeah uh, the strategies that you use some of the strategies the strategies that you that somebody has used to learn their mother tongue they mm-hmm. can use many of those strategies to learn english also but not all of the strategies and um, one thing that everybody should avoid is translating literally translating from mm-hmm. one language to the other yeah yeah okay all right thank you yeah okay so coming to the topic for the day which is um, office life or work from home yeah mm-hmm. um which do you prefer like are you, are you a working professional right now yeah i'm working professional as a hr executive and okay. uh, i prefer office life working office life. in a office yeah okay okay what do you like about uh, working in an office over working from home um if i were uh, in corona i work from home so i thought like uh, i feel i felt like uh, uh, working from home it uh, giving us like more comfort which is not benefit mm. for our office uh, professional life okay. which is not okay. beneficial okay. that's why i prefer office life is okay. totally different uh, hobby, working from home and working from office is totally different things mm. that's it. absolutely absolutely when you work okay what is, when you what's a fundamental difference between working in an office and working from home fundamental means like uh, if you, if i am talking about atmosphere it's totally different right how so, uh, in a home like uh, there are lots of disturbance uh, if you uh, uh, yeah. focus on your work so it's not uh, same at uh, at the office or means it, it's not same if you work at office so it's uh, total uh, you can totally focus on your work right. and right. and other side if you work from home it's uh, you are not able to focus on your work i think because there are family like distractions yeah and... family members right right i agree completely also when you think about office you are surrounded by your colleagues So Colleagues, there is a yeah. office social life, whereas if you are at home, you can obviously be on Zoom on a Zoom call or Microsoft Teams call, but mm-hmm. it's not the same experience. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, and uh, it was really nice talking to you. Please do tag exactly. me while you post that video. I'll uh, yes, definitely yes, check exactly. out sure. the video. Okay. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you, and uh, I do yeah. hope that we actually I am get... following you from since six to seven months, but I I can't okay. be able to uh, yeah. you. Yeah, I don't right, find right. your slots. Right, right. I actually was not taking classes for a few months because I had mm-hmm. lots of assignments uh, that I needed to finish and submit. Uh, because I'm also MBA, pursuing right? an MBA. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I watch your so, videos. That's fine. Right. Um, please do get in touch. Uh, we can maybe collaborate on a particular yeah. on a video in the near future. Yes, yes. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank Bye. you for connecting today. It was lovely interacting yeah. with you. It's also great. talking to you have a, have a great night ahead thank Bye. you good night bye good night